everyone. I'm here today to talk to you about comparison bars. A comparison bar is a new tool to help students solve word problems. A comparison bar is just a visual representation of the quantities in a math problem. It helps children see who has the most or least. It helps them see the differences between two quantities. Comparison bars help us solve problems that ask these two questions. How many more? How many fewer? This is a comparison bar. A comparison bar has two bars. One is long and one is short. A comparison bar also has an oval or a circle and this is where we write how many more or how many fewer. It's important to label comparison bars and to write their quantities inside so that students can see if they should add or subtract. Let's talk about one. To solve this word problem, we will use a comparison bar. Here's the problem. There were nine boys on the bus. There were 13 girls on the bus. How many fewer boys were there than girls? This is a good problem to use a comparison bar on because it asks how many fewer. Here's our comparison bar. We have to decide whether to put the girls number in the top or the boys number in the top. Let's read again to find out which number is bigger. We'll put that number in the top. There were nine boys on the bus. There were 13 girls on the bus. Which one is the bigger quantity? That's right, girls. So we'll label the top bar G for girls. We'll label the bottom bar B for boys. Let's write the quantities inside. There were 13 girls. There were nine boys. Now, the question says how many fewer boys were there than girls? We don't know that. We don't know how many fewer. That's our change. We'll write it here in the oval. Now, I can see that 13 is bigger than 9. I need to find out how much bigger it is. I can tell that if I add a number here to 9, I can make the number 13. Or, if I take 9 away from 13, I can find out what that other number is. So I will subtract 13 minus 9. What is 13 minus 9? That's right, it's 4. So 4 is the change. I know now that there were four fewer boys than girls. I can check my answer by adding these two add-ins, 9 plus 4. If it equals 13, then I know I'm correct. 9 plus 4 does equal 13. So I know that my answer is correct. Very good. I hope that comparison bars can help your child solve some math problems. If you have any other questions about comparison bars, please contact me and I'll be happy to help.